Yeah, greetings YouTubers. It's just been over a week since I've done my last taxi vlog to you. It's Big Jim here in his TX2 London Taxi International on a 2003 plate. Very good afternoon to you. It's a Saturday afternoon, mid-June, about 13th I think or somewhere like that. It's quarter past two in the afternoon and I'm off somewhere on a Saturday. The rain's been coming down bits and pieces all day. Um, got a little bit to report to you about the old TX. Um, you probably remember I've said on one of my previous videos that I wasn't happy with uh, some rust that was sort of appeared on the wheel arches, which is very common on these. Uh, the water and all the grime gets up around the back of the wheel although there's a plastic protector there it seems to get its way in there and uh, what it does it obviously just rots us from the inside out um, it is really common and for you to find one in your travels a taxi that's not got those bubbles on the wheel arches it's a typical British motor if you remember the Leylands they were coming off the production line, I remember. They were saying that they were they were rusting from the inside out. And these aren't that bad, but they have got, as I've said in a previous video, they do have their inherent rust problems in certain places. And if you look at the forums, you'll find out where these are. Um, and they are, you know, they, they can be an expensive hole in the vehicle if it's near a structure or part of a structure and then you've got to get some welding and plating in and if it's a job that you're not capable of doing yourself it can run into hundreds upon hundreds of pounds so you've got to be careful well this rust on poppy um, was on the wheel arches and also on the slam panels on the doors uh, previously the door wasn't very uh, didn't line up very very well and you can actually see where the door hasn't lined up instead of getting it looked at they've sort of left it and what they've done where the door shuts all the time which it does um, it's sort of overlapping and it's sort of on the driver's door it sort of smashed all around there it was it, it was an awful loads of chipping and as well as the rust that was on both wheel arches as well also there was uh, a very small dent three quarters of the way down on the near side uh, and some general sort of spots that needed touching up well, I dropped her into someone that I know um, who's been a sprayer for all of his life He's got to be all of 55 now, and he does proper panel beating, not just take off panels and replace them. He actually panel beats, um, and it went in. It went in on Monday morning, and it didn't come out until this morning, Saturday. He wanted it a full five days. He said there's no point in bodging it up. Uh, so I just left a, left the cab with him for five days. Uh, he took it in. And when I went round there this morning, well, I should have picked it up yesterday, but he said that there was more work than he thought. Uh, and he just went. Uh, I gave him an extra sort of day, three quarters of a day on it. And uh, he was there this morning at half past nine, and I picked it up. And I must admit, I was well impressed um, he'd noticed where I hadn't the actual bottoms of the doors he said were starting to rust as well so he's cut that out as well and that's all been repaired um, yeah you can see five days of work here many many hours I'd imagine at least 30 hours of work when I get a chance to show you Poppy it's raining at the moment um, I will do and you'll see it from the, the last video that I done uh, you'll see the difference 
uh, and he's used the taxi black which is uh, which he said he would uh, and also he's put a beautiful luster on it as well and I can't think of the additive that he added to it and he said it'll be better for protection especially in the salt area that uh, where I live right close to the sea so he's done that I mean it's it's really hard to tell how much he's actually done but there's not a mark on her now um, she's absolutely crystal black with not a touch of rust and she's getting there ladies and gents she's getting there um, she's she's definitely getting sort of to where I want her to be unfortunately as well I ordered a set of chrome hubcaps and they came about Tuesday of this week but I was working and it's bloody parcel force and I can't stand their operation because they try and deliver once and they couldn't they don't even bother to try and knock on any neighbours and, and give it to them no no it's just you're not in take it back well they tried me the next day as well we've got no chance that I'm going to be in because I'm out of work, you know. Um, there's no one in the place to take it. So they attempted a delivery again. Couldn't do that. Uh, they were going to attempt a third delivery as well. I said, this is ridiculous. Now, the amazing thing is, Saturday, if I wanted a Saturday delivery, I've got to phone them up and book it direct. And they will charge me 12 quid for a Saturday delivery on top of obviously what I've paid already for postage to have it delivered and they want 12 quid for a Saturday so I thought sod that I'm not paying that I'm not paying I'm not paying 12 pound for them to do a Saturday delivery on me I mean it's just ripping off where you get other companies like DPD who are brilliant you get a text message when they're around the corner you get the name you get the picture of the driver you can even follow him on a map on DPD DPD and they say like you're number 92 of 130 and your driver is now delivering parcel 84 and you can see exactly where he is it's amazing but not on the British post office system we're on uh, where we live on the old school down here and it was really frustrating so I didn't want to pay the 12 quid I digress I didn't want to pay the 12 quid in fact, I refuse point blank. And you don't know you're going to pay the 12 quid until you click all the way through it, the options online, and then it says, you're £12 for a Saturday. And I thought, no, stuff that. I'm not paying no 12 quid. So there's another option on there that they would try and deliver it again Monday. I don't know how many times they'll try and deliver it. They'll try again on Monday. And I thought, well, that's a waste of time because I'm back to work Monday again. So why are you bothering? So there was an option to click there to deliver it to a post office. So I thought, oh, that's all right. I'll get it delivered to my local post office. Now, I'm not a skinflint or nothing like that, but the post office is just around the corner from where I live. And the buggers have charged me a pound. They want a pound off me to deliver it to my post office. Well, I've got no option. I'm having to pay it. I know it's only a pound, but it's the principle of the matter. No wonder the post office is going under when all these private companies are out there at offering so much more for a service. So the idea was to get these chrome hab cups and stick them on today after the respray. But unfortunately, they've been going backwards and forwards to the central hub for the last week. And uh, I haven't got to pick them up. So, I've got to pick them up from the post office on Monday. <laughs> That's if they're there. There's a high probability that something's gone wrong. And they'll probably try and deliver it again on Monday. If I want to, I can go to Gatwick and pick them up, which is the local hub. But Gatwick from here is about 30 miles. 25, 30 miles. So it's a 60 mile round trip to go to Gatwick. So I'm not going to do that. So... Hopefully by Monday, the Chrome Hubs will be there 
and I'll stick them on there and look really nice. Now what I was toying with the idea of, well, as you know, I've got sort of black trims down the doors. They're the, um, the anti-mark doors, you know, when you open up and you knock things, it's not going to damage anything. That takes the blow, it's like a bumper, like a door bumper. Well, on eBay, you can actually buy chrome ones that will clip on to what you've already got as your original clips. And that's chrome all the way down the back. And I think that'll go off really well with the chrome bumpers. Because I've got a chrome um, front grille, so it should look really, really nice. Um, let's see what happens. I won't take any pictures until I get this these chrome hubcaps, and we'll see how we go. Um, apart from that, well, I've not had I've not had the cab all week, as I said. She's been in the paint shop and being baked and everything else that happens. Um, so it's good to get her back today, Saturday. I'm taking her down out to see a friend. We're going on a little run. It does it good, actually. And I must admit, she is running particularly well. I definitely have got a leak on the power steering pipe. But because I haven't had this for a whole week, I haven't had a chance to get under it. It is losing. But it's not losing a vast amount and it's not actually pressurized up so although there is pressure in there it's not high pressure um, so it's not running out like a tap it's sort of dripping out over time so it's something that I've got to do I really have got to do it uh, it's just finding the time when to do it I'll have a look Monday there's various pipes under there that I've had a quick look at there's an in and then there's an out service as well and it could be one of those pipes they're crimped at the end as well and I was thinking rather than just buy the one it might be beneficial to just bite the bullet and get a couple of them and stick it on I'll have to see I'll have to see what happens um, but yeah apart from that she's you know you probably can hear her now she's running like a Oh, she's running like a well-oiled train she really is touch wood shouldn't really say it but yeah she's running really really well temperature is just under the normal um, and he's saying that as well I've noticed that the uh, the water was going down just ever so slightly and I've already traced that full don't let this frighten you off everyone don't let it frighten you off and that's the radiator these radiators they're probably mass produced this is probably a, a Chinese copy that was thrown in here instead of buying a decent radiator and it's the classic that the radiator and then when you get to the top you've got like a plastic that goes right the way across the top and it almost looks like crimped all the way across the top like teeth and then the plastics attached to it and then obviously uh, non-pressurized filler cap goes on the top of that well I've noticed from that crimping edge of plastic with the antifreeze in there I sort of just taste it a little bit and it's um, it's wet from nowhere else the fins down the radiator on both sides absolutely fine nothing wrong with them at all just the bloody that top section I've had it before on vehicles and I'm pretty sure unless I'm mistaken that it's a sort of throwaway job there's not a lot you can do about it I was thinking of taking the plastic off and having a look um, I'd imagine you can't weld them because of the veins I'd imagine the only thing you might be able to do is solder them but if you know any better than me if you could leave a comment down there uh, I might have a look at it and see or again bite the bullet I've seen a radiator on there, a quality radiator, uh, an Italian one, and they are good, the radiators. I've had them from there before, not an import from China. And they come with a full two years warranty, and I can get that for about 60 quid. Um, obviously not with none of the hoses, but 60 pounds for a new radiator. So, do I sort of try and make a repair on this rad? 
because of that leak on the top. Now I know what someone's going to probably come in and leave a comment and say, I have a crack and egg in there, in the old idea, let it solidify, let it go hard, and that'll seal. Uh, you've got rad weld, and you've got bars leaks. Uh, personally, <coughs> excuse me, I wouldn't use any of those because it might seal this rad, and it probably will, because it's not a big hole. It certainly don't lose a lot of fluid. Um, but I'm always wary of that stuff running around the whole of your the whole of your water system and um, when it runs all around the whole of your water system it's uh, what else is it going to block when it goes around there you know you've got some quite tight sort of water channels around there it's obviously all going to go around by the water pump and everything and I've I know they say it's got to mix officially with air for it to sort of solidify but I somehow don't like the idea of it running around the system and uh, you know what else is it going to clog so I'd rather sort of not go down that route I'd rather facilitate a repair first if I can do the repair and anyone wants to leave some comments I definitely will or replace the uh, replace the unit on a hull. Now in the old days, just shows you how cheap they're being made over in China. In the old days, if you remember, it was an exchange job of radiator. You take the radiator out, you take it down to your going spare shop, and you give him that the old radiator and he'd give you the new one. And uh, if you didn't have the old radiator out at the time, then he'd charge you a surcharge. And then when you brought that radiator back after you've taken it out, He'd give you your money back so they were repairable I remember they used to replace replace years ago all the fins on them and they would overhaul them and completely fix them well obviously now they don't you just throw them in the bin um, so that's why I'd rather go for a better quality one that's why I'd rather go for a better quality one like I said um, and um, stick that in on the, an Italian one. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's, it's all woes, isn't it? You can't, you know, you can't let it get you. And the main reason all these little bits and pieces are happening, guys and gals, is because it's an old cab. But once all them bits are all done, which they will be, once they're all done, then everything's been done that should be done. And fingers crossed. The old cab will be running like a good one. And that's what I'm hoping anyway. We can't guarantee it forever and ever, but hopefully, hopefully it will. Um, well, that's basically it for it at the moment. It's Father's Day tomorrow, and everyone's all going to be coming round. I've got all the family coming down, so it looks like they'll all be coming down with the grandchildren and all that. So, yippity yee for Father's Day. For tomorrow oh. and I'll uh, so I won't be doing a video now for another week oh, what I'll do is I will stick a video up there once I've got it all cleaned up again don't get me about the bumps in the road please that was a previous video um, I'm gonna um, when I get it all cleaned up and I'll get the chrome hubcaps on there uh, get it all polished up again and fully done looking good i'll take a video of it and i'll upload it here on, uh, on youtube once again if there's any questions anyone's got out there you know we're small we're growing very very slowly but if you've ever thought of owning a an old ex london cab this is the place to come to i'll try and add as many videos as i can up here uh, possibly once a week or i might extend it if i've got nothing to report I'm now being shaken to death, honestly. But yeah, everything else is all okay. So you know, you're just you're basically sitting next to me here in the jump seat, and you've heard it all fresh. These are all cost items that you're going to have to consider when going for one of these vehicles, because if this vehicle 
was in London now. It couldn't afford to be off the road. So they would bodge it and do whatever they want. Bodge it and scarper, I used to call them. And they'd, they'd basically do a quick tack or a solder on this. Just get it going. No, just, just, they were really abused and just worked and worked and worked and worked. And so, rather than bodge them, you know, these are worn out in parts. So the job is to just replace. And we'll see how we go there. And hopefully it don't run into too much money. Uh, I'm on the winning side still at the moment. Um, there's been no real big surprises to me. Um, I'm still happy with everything. Um, but obviously I don't want to keep on spending out. Um, I just want to get it all done for the winter really because you know the winter takes its toll on these vehicles. I just want it to be running well and reliable. Well I think that's about it ladies and gentlemen. Um, these flipping roads. I'm going to uh, bid you adieu. Thank you for joining me. If you've got any comments, stick them down. I'm always here. I'll. Uh, it'll be interesting to uh, to answer any comments or queries any of you have. And I will catch you people, you lovely people, very very soon. It's the big fella, big Jim. Sam, thanks a lot for everyone for joining us. Comments, as I said, down the bottom. And I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. All right, everyone. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.